Education. Loved it. And um, what was the first thing you thought about this morning? Pre-spring. We launched pre-spring today. Oh, I'm really liking the look. What's something you do every morning? Um, brush my teeth. I hope you do too. I do. That's <laughs> you. And what is your star sign? Uh, Aries. Through and through. Are you into astrology? Yep. What is your favourite quote? My favourite. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite quote? <laughs> My favourite quote is, you only fail when you give up. That is a beautiful quote. Thank you. So when do you feel most at home? Um, at home. <laughs> and if you had a full day off, what would it consist of? Um, don't know. You just never have a day off, really. Yeah. What's been making you busy lately? Uh, Everything odd news. What can you tell us about it? About all Muse? Yeah, tell us about that the brand. That is the best brand in the world. What made you start the brand? Um, I wanted to slow down fashion for young women. And what was the first piece that you created? The Ultimate Muse Blazer. <gasps> there she is. Is it your favourite piece that you ever created? Yep, the camel one is, definitely. What's been your favourite thing about starting a business? Um, freedom, kind of. And what's been the hardest? Um, having no freedom, kind of. Do you feel pressure owning a business? Uh, yeah, but pressure makes diamonds. <gasps> oh, I liked that a lot. How do you deal with negativity? Um, I don't. Oh. I don't give my energy. And what's something people might not know about you? Um, that I... Hmm. They know a lot. That... I love gherkins. <laughs> so do I. How would you describe your personal style? Um, odd news. Just odd news? Just odd news. What's the most overworn item in your wardrobe? My camel blazer. <laughs> Over here. And what's the most luxe here. thing that you've ever worn? That I've ever worn? Yes. Um, Probably a dress that I bought for this Saturday, so I've not worn it yet. <gasps> Very excited. What's your favourite luxury brand? Uh, Chanel. And your first luxury buy? My first luxury buy. What was my first luxury buy? Probably my Louis Vuitton Alma bag. Ooh, that sounds very nice. Okay, some quick questions for you. Right. Vintage or designer? Designer, sorry. I knew it was going to say that. Or trainers or heels? Heels. Always heels. Oh, where are they from? <laughs> <laughs> These are Manolo Planet. I heard that the Rihanna go out. Um, I heard that too. Okay, back on the outfit. What is an outfit maybe you wish you had skipped in the past? An outfit I wish I skipped in the past? Oh my god, probably everything I wore PLT when I was at uni. But oh, hot era. Absolutely, skip yeah, it. absolutely. And how about a beauty product you always wear? My Charlotte Tilbury lipstick called. Bitch Perfect, I think it's called. Is that your favourite brand? Yep. Yeah. What is the best beauty tip you've ever received? Um, to double cleanse your face. <gasps> I've heard that one too. And your favourite lip colour? Bitch Perfect by Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury. You get a lot of air time. <laughs> you always do your makeup for shoots, I've heard. Mm -hmm. Where did you learn your skills? Um, YouTube. If you could go back and tell 13 year old Amy one thing, what would it be? Um, to just keep trying. Oh, so <laughs> cute. And what would you tell someone trying to start a fashion business? To just keep trying. Okay, finish the sentence for me. Future of fashion looks like... The future of fashion looks like Cod Muse. You like it a lot. What is the fast fashion brand you dislike the most? PLT. What would you say is your brand's philosophy? Um, investment fashion. 
Is there any chance you could give us a little sneak peek on what's being released in the future? Um, or give us a little something about it? Wedding guests and that other part of a wedding. Oh, no. Would you ever do clothes for men? I would love to. I saw online that you bought your parents a car. How did that feel? Uh, amazing. What is the best present that you've ever received? Um, the best present is the gift of giving. Oh, that's lovely. And who would you say is your best friend? My sister. How long have you been with your boyfriend? Seven years. Where did you meet? We just met in a bar. Oh, very nice. How does the, who does the cooking in your house? Uh, myself and my dad. And what's your favourite dish to make? Uh, turkey spaghetti bolognese. Very turkey nice. Spaghetti. I'm a vegetarian, so I can't quite have that. Oh, you should. Um, turn <laughs> no, meat. I won't, yeah. <laughs> what is your favourite takeaway option? My favourite takeaway is a pizza. And your favourite cuisine? My favourite cuisine is Italian. Favourite holiday destination? Ibiza. Pool or sea? Pool. Do you have any pets? Yes, two dogs. And would you ever get one in the future? Yes. Cat I'd like a Sweeney dog. dog. Oh, I like a Sweeney <laughs> dog. Insert picture. Yeah. <laughs> what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is failure. And favourite colour? <laughs> um, favourite colour is green. Favourite season? Favourite season is spring, summer, that transitional time. Nice. And would you say that you're an introvert or an extrovert? I am a introvert who pushes themselves to be an extrovert. As we all should be. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, to fly. <laughs> favourite film? Straight up, fly. <laughs> favourite film? My favourite film is... What is my favourite film? I have. Does it like Phantom of the Opera is my favourite film. Phantom of the Opera? Oh, I forget that, that is just a random one. Anyway, best concert that you've ever been to? Um, the best concert I have ever been to was Louisa Johnson downstairs, downstairs. at the Odd Muse pop up shop. Last week. In this outfit. Absolutely lovely. Speaking of that outfit, when is it being released? It was released today and it sold out in 10 minutes. 10 minutes? What's something you couldn't live without? Um, my dog. What's the best advice you've ever received? The best advice I've ever received is just around just not giving up and just keep going. Keep going, keep trying. What's advice that you've completely ignored? To not worry about things. Because you should worry sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> keep trying, but worry at the same time. Be, be concerned, I'd say, sometimes. Amy, what do you want to be known for? I want to be known for having the best brand, but inspiring others to feel their own brand too. That's really beautiful. What are three minutes, three, three women, blowing your mind right now? <laughs> Who are three women that are blowing your mind right now? Three women that are blowing my mind right now? Okay. God. Three women that are blowing my Be mind. celebrities, people close to you. Um, my team, if they stand as one, can I say one? I think yeah. that's my team. Two is um, Quinn Walker always. And who else is really just like business vibes? Any women in business, like I just think you're amazing. Just women in business. And you inspire me and I see new people every day and I love it. Love that. So I heard that you're creating a new office. How's it coming along? Uh, it's coming along. It is paused a little bit because of pop-up shop, obviously. Um, but it's going to be the best place to have our office of dreams. Yeah. Speaking of the pop-up shop, can you give me a dream of new shop destination? I love Covent Garden in London, but I would love a store in LA. Ah, absolutely, me too. What's a question you get asked all the time, but you wish you didn't? Um, 
I think any questions around sort of like being like a girl boss. Mm. I don't I don't know why in this year and this time that it's so surprising. crazy and yeah. surprising that a woman can be successful in business. We need to drop that. Thank you so much for doing this. Next two questions, the last two. Last two questions. Yeah. Wow, that went really quick. Who would you like to see do this next? Ooh. What, well, on news? The 73 Road Questions. Oh, okay. I would love to see... 73 Questions. I would love to see it from the eyes of Lil Nalux. <gasps> love that idea. Maybe we'll knock on her door next. Yeah. And where can you see Odd Muse in 10 years? The sky is limitless. There is no... Everything to... and anything. We can't measure it because of how much it exceeds every year. Yeah. So there is no limit. We shall see. Worldwide, big team, multiple stores, everything. Okay, well that's everything for you. We'll let you be because we can see that you're busy in your pop-up <laughs> shop. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, Amy. Let's go.